This video is brought to you by Sun King Discs. Check out sunkingdiscs.com for a full selection of disc golf merchandise and get free shipping on all orders over 12 bucks. What's up guys? Tonight we're taking a look at the Innova Discover Backpack. Big thank you to Sun King Discs for sponsoring this video. Go to sunkingdiscs.com to check out the website. They have a huge selection of plastic and other disc golf merchandise. All orders over 12 bucks will ship for free. Tell them I sent you. Let's get into a closer look at the Discover Backpack by Innova. Some of the reasons why I wanted to check one of these out. A, it's about the cheapest backpack bag you're going to find. 20 bucks for this bag is what you're looking at. Give or take a buck or two depending on where you find it. But $19.99 right now on sunkingdiscs.com. So for that price, is it a viable bag? Does it hold enough stuff? Does it have the bases covered? Based on what I can see from it so far, I would have to say yes. So I want to check it out to be able to recommend it to players looking for a first bag, or maybe you want to get a bag for a friend or family member and introduce them to the game. Could be a great option for that. We're heading into the holiday season. Maybe you want to hook up one of your friends or family with a great basic, inexpensive starter disc golf bag to get the ball rolling for them, throw a few discs in it, and they're off to the races. And that's kind of why I wanted to be able to check it out and show it off for you guys so you can get a closer look at it and know my thoughts on it for what that's worth. So, let's get into it. Let's take a look. We have a dedicated water bottle holder here. Plenty deep. No issues here. I like it. I like the design. It's basic, but it works. You can cinch it closed a little bit if you want to to make it tighter for a smaller bottle. This is a 32 ounce um, DGN Tempercraft, and if, it works great. No problems at all. Um, you could probably put a slightly wider bottle in here. There's a little more room to play with. And again, you can cinch it down if you want to. So yeah, no issues with the water bottle holder. Seems fine. Moving around to the front of the bag, you can see it's got some basic kind of uh, tassel zipper pulls here. Nothing much. You can get some paracord and kind of make it look nicer. I show you guys how to do that here on my channel if you want to learn how to make basic zipper pulls really easy and you can make that make the bag look a lot nicer just by doing that honestly for a few more dollars and spend on uh, on some paracord. Have some fun while you're at it too. Um, so we're looking at 15 discs in this compartment right now. Three putters, four min ranges, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 total. We got 8 drivers as well. That's a lot of plastic, really. That's plenty of plastic for the average player and kind of for the target audience for this bag, which would be beginners, newer players, folks that aren't super into the game, or just somebody who um, doesn't have a lot of money to spend. 15, 15 discs is plenty for those type of players. Um, you got a big pocket up here that you could kind of use as a putter pocket if you wanted to. I don't think I would I would do that though personally. Of course, you can um, zip this whole outer pocket closed if you want to. There's two zippers here, um, but I don't know if I would bother doing that. There's also some Velcro here and Velcro on the inside that you can kind of tuck it back and keep that pocket um, or keep that flap out of your way. One nice thing about this bag is that it's really easy to take the discs in and out, totally open access to it, which I like quite a bit. Some disc bags out there have some resistance when you're taking the discs in and out. No issues with that whatsoever on this bag, which I dig. It's nice. Over here you have another storage pocket that's pretty good size. It goes all the way down to here. So, pretty substantial. Um, great spot to throw your Sharpies, your Mini, scorecard, etc. Whatever else you want to put down there. Snacks, whatever else. Um, Onto the back here, you have a grab handle here, which I like. I like having that feature. The um, straps, not much to see. They're pretty thin, relatively flimsy. They have a little bit of padding, but not much. But it's such a lightweight and relatively small bag, I don't really think it's going to be that much of an issue. It should be totally fine and still probably more comfortable than like a an old school starter shoulder bag or something like that. Because it's still a backpack, you can still distribute the weight and there's a little bit of padding in there where the um, kind of regular starter bag is just a nylon strap. I've checked the connection here to see if it's sewn in well. It seems pretty sturdy. Um, but again, like when you're talking about a $20 bag, even if you had to replace this thing every six months, every year or so, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But yeah, you have some mesh, you have some padding on the back, no issues with that whatsoever. Then, as we swing it back around, you can see that, oh, there's Paul on the tag as well. We're going to have to fix that eventually. Um, and up here you have a relatively substantial 
storage pocket on the top as well. Like I said, you could probably put a putter in here if you wanted to, but I don't know if I would recommend doing that personally. Right now, just for representation, I got a sports sack in here, I got a flight towel in here, plenty of room to throw your wallet or your keys or something in there and zip them in so you don't have to worry about them falling out during the round. So, as we said, 15 discs in the main compartment. Let's take a look at the bottom. Nothing really to see here, of course. You're not going to get any rails or anything like that on a sub $20 bag, um, and I wouldn't expect that at all. What you do have is on the interior of the bag, there's a little U-shaped divider that lives in there. The discs will set down into that. It basically provides all the structure for the bottom of the bag. Let's take a look at that. As you can see, there's not a lot keeping the bag in shape when you take this part out, but this comes in with it, you throw that in the inside, that provides the entire uh, structural shape of the bottom of the bag. Um, the discs will rest in this, and you can kind of move this Velcro divider around. I believe this is basically looks like the same divider that was in like an old Innova Deluxe shoulder bag um, that I used to have. But yeah, you can um, move this slightly, one side or the other, but I think mainly what this part is doing is kind of keeping this piece um, giving this piece some structural integrity, but then when you put it back in the bag, it kind of holds everything in shape. So all in all, I think the Discover bag, based on my initial impressions, is a pretty solid deal for the money. I think it would make a great starter bag, beginner bag for somebody who's just getting into the game, or for somebody who's pretty casual and only has 8 or 10 discs, 15 discs or so. Um, and they just need a basic bag they can get the job done, this will totally work. Um, I also think this would be a great option for like field testing or days you're going out to do something else but you want to have some discs with you, you don't want to bring your whole bag and worry about that. You can throw 10, 15 discs in this bag and go out and do some practice, some field work, or have some discs with you while you're out and about in case you happen to want to end up throwing some shots. That's my video for tonight. Thanks once again to Sun King Discs for sending me this bag to check out. Thanks to all you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.